Welcome back everyone. I hope you finished chapter 3 and have a good grasp of the material so far. Now we will move on to chapter 4 that describes how engineers interact with technology in an ethical fashion. The interaction between society and technology is an ongoing closed loop. Each one drives the other forward. Technology has had a great impact on society. Today, it is not socially acceptable to not have an email or to not know how to use Microsoft Office. On the other end, society has helped shape modern technology by selecting certain technologies and discarding others. Some examples include BlackBerry, Nokia, DVD players, and VCRs. This got thinkers and philosophers thinking about the origin of technology and how does it function. One of the oldest theories about technology is technological determinism. Technological determinism believes that the growth of technology is an independent entity. This entity has a logic that it operates by and humans cannot control this logic in any way. In summary, Technological determinism believes that any technology that can be developed will be developed regardless of a human intervention. If inferred correctly, technological determinism implies that humans have no control over technological development, and therefore no ethical guidelines can be developed to ensure the ethical development of technology. Luckily, this theory has been proven to be wrong. But this leaves the question of how to approach the ethical development of uh, technology in an ethical manner unanswered. With the question of how to ethically approach technological development left unanswered, new theories came to light. One of them is technological optimism. Technological optimism believes that all technologies have more good than bad. Therefore, we should always welcome new technology with open arms due to their potential benefit regardless of their side effects. Some individuals analyzed technological optimism and realized that minimizing the value of the harm compared to the good is not acceptable. Technology must bring no harm. If any technology brings harm, then it is frowned upon and disregarded. This approach is known as technological pessimism. Technological pessimism accepts technological advances but always outvalues any harm done over any benefit. Technological pessimism has two main arguments. The threat to freedom where any type of personal violation is not acceptable and the threat to living a meaningful life. As everything today becomes more and more digitized, people lose actual connection. Immediately jumping onto any new technology or dismissing any technology due to some side effects will either put society at risk or deny progress completely. A better approach is to have a critical attitude towards technology. This is done by accepting that technology has a good side and a bad side. And it is our duty as engineers to make sure that our societies reap the benefits and avoid the harms. That is done through providing transparent information and protective technologies that dilute the harms or stop them. One hot topic that was mentioned earlier is privacy. Privacy, in my opinion, requires further exploration. In short, privacy defends your personal information or actually your control over that information. Privacy should be respected at all times, especially when developing technologies that have access to sensitive information. The violation of the privacy of individuals is illegal and can be considered criminal, so always try to secure the sensitive information of individuals that you have control of. We move on from privacy to intellectual property. I am sure you have seen multiple forms of intellectual property and a variety of examples. We will delve deeper into the classifications and try to distinguish three main forms of intellectual property. First, we need to define what is intellectual property. Intellectual property is property that results from your mental labor. This mental labor can be protected in three ways. Patents, 
trademarks, and copyrights. The first form of copyright protection is patents, which are governmental documents that allows the copyright owner to exclude other individuals from benefiting from his or her work for 20 years. The second form is trademarks. Trademarks target words, phrases, slogans, and symbols that are usually associated with goods or services. In other words, you cannot open a company and call it Microsoft or Apple or use their logos. Finally, we have copyrights. Copyrights are designed for creative products such as books, movies, and graphics. Our case study for this chapter is about technology going wrong. Here we have the Ferac 25, a cancer treatment machine that was not thoroughly tested. This lack of proper testing before release has led to the death of six people before the machine being removed from use. Check the details in the link attached below and view this case study. With the FedEx 25, we reached the end of chapter 4. We have viewed the importance of technology and how should we handle it as engineers to ensure the safety and progress of society. Tune into the next videos for more topics on engineering ethics. Also, don't forget to mention any requests or improvements in the comments below.